Yo, what is going on you guys? This is Mike or Geekermon and welcome back to the 1v1 series versus Panda. Today's episode, yours truly, tries to take on the one frame flick sniper. Don't forget, if you've been enjoying this series and you're new to the G1 team channel, leave a subscribe. Leave a subscribe don't forget to leave a subscribe and drop a like on the video so far these videos have been doing extremely well the goal for today is 3,000 likes mostly because i want to rub it in that i have the most successful king of the hill channel thank you guys for all the love all the support the team channel has been growing so fast and doing so well and it's all thanks to you so without further ado enjoy a 1v1 between geekerman and panda roll it yeah i think i'm gonna make the swap to pc the only thing that i don't love about it is making the transition because it's so strange how different it plays like even staying on controller yeah but at this point i'm kind of like everyone's over here i might as well do it i mean Miss i mean if, do you have a side. 144 hertz monitor yeah okay yeah. yeah i just got it though so that's the other reason too is i feel like at this point i might as well maximize it have you actually swapped to the hertz though yes okay because yep. a lot of people when they first get like their monitor they don't swap the hertz so they're still at <laughs> 60. that's what i was like for a while dude i didn't even realize <laughs> yeah, it took me a long like time to figure it out though, because it's never made a difference. With console being on 30, I'm like, how are we on 30 out here in 2020? How is this happening? Yeah, for real. Okay, okay. Watching Nagi get 10 uh, 0'd made me feel a little better. I was like, oh, okay. I just tried to 10 0 as fast as possible for the video. So we can go to Mortal Kombat right away. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you swapped over to Mortal Kombat. That's right. No way! That's twice in a row, the sliver. That warlock movement though is so fluid. Yeah, that's the one thing that you can't do on controller. It's just like you can't like move around like this. Yeah, and I have a hard time with vertical movement too. Like yeah. vertical is so, as soon as somebody puts on high jump stompies in a you comp match, it's so tough for me to look up with a controller. I don't know what it is. I walked into that knowing you were there. <laughs> I will say the mouse and keyboard journey, I started playing it with uh, Warzone, and I only started playing it with Warzone because I figured if I didn't, then I would never, uh, I would never learn it. Yeah. That's, I mean, as long as, it doesn't matter where if you start on Destiny, it's as long as you, like, just start getting used to it. Yeah. And then you can, like, swap once you're- And I've heard it's really good to play on a game that, uh, that you play on controller a lot. So Destiny, Warzone, ones that you, like, yeah. can actually enjoy. Because I, I wanted to play Counter-Strike, and then I got over there, and I'm like, one, well, I'm not good at this game. I have no game sense. I have no idea what's going on. Oh, there goes all the sniper ammo. Psych! Revoker! Oh my... <laughs> Unlimited. Oh my dude, it's so hard. <laughs> A trade! If that's not a Destiny 2 staple, I don't know what is. You scared me right there. I thought you were like on, my, on Rocket or something. Told you I'm on that controller movement. <laughs> I'm on the ground. Are you playing a uh, 10 cents with traction? I'm on eight with traction, I think. Okay. But the only reason I was on eight is because that's what I play on on uh, controller. So I figured I would. Well, because like the sense between console and PC is not the same. No, it's not. It's and what I've noticed is I think it's like the aim aim uh, assist like the way that you aim is different. The little movements are way more noticeable on uh, PC. That hunter recovery though. No. Cause like on controller or not controller on, on console, you have like the thing where if you turn, it speeds up, right? Yeah. And then on PC, it's consistent throughout. It's no consistent. What. Yeah. So it's so weird to get used to. Cause it's almost like there's acceleration or something. I don't, yeah. It's so strange. Have you, uh, have you tried swapping your like controller stuff? So it's like, you don't have to double tap or anything like that. Or have you not done anything? I haven't changed anything. That was the one Wait, thing with me. Wait, double tap on what? Well, because like, like they added something. Stuff? Yeah, they added something where you can change that. Because for me, whenever I played on console, yeah, I would always try and slide in with my hunter and I accidentally dodge. So I'd slide Ooh. and stand back up. So, I mean, you can swap it to hold, but just yeah. like preference. Oh my god, you're so close. <laughs> oh, good snipe. Good snipe. That was a close game. Yeah, it was. 
Um, I'll transfer over the vidji right now. We're doing that. Right, let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. So what I did is like each gun played one game and then you got a point for a kill and half a point for an assist. The final game was like 50, 56 score and it ended up being like 44 kills with the vigilance wing. I think that's the highest single kills I've had in a quick play match. So it was all based off of like your stuff, like how you perform yeah, with so, weapon? Yeah, so I just ran like tether, bubble well like depending on which round it was it was like head to head so each gun got one so there was like sometimes where the match would be like seven minutes i mean i just did like march madness it's like you know that most of the time it's gonna be like well because people got mad they're like it was almost a mercy rule shouldn't have counted but i'm kind of like well eh. it added some way to make videos too like i had a good time with it because it was uh like i got to use weapons i just sit in the vault and gather dust yeah. That's the thing about this game. I feel like in this game, there's so many weapons that are exotic that you, people never use. But in D1, I feel like a lot of the exotics were used all the time. Yeah. Well, there. I do feel like there were metas, like the two tap thorn meta. Yeah. But there was at least variety on it. Like right now, I feel like once people get to something, they're like nine hunger. That's it. You know, beyond that, there's no yeah. reason to use anything else. Uh oh. Oh, good grenade. I got the world's best grenades. The world's I don't know. best, dude. The, the voice line in that in that montage. I'm so glad he added that. Oh. All right, I gotta mix up my strat here. He dodged back into the... Yes, I did. Right into it. I feel like Vigilance, like, you know, MK versus Controller, it's the same as, like, hand cannons, like... I feel like Vigilance yeah. on MK just wins. Like, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Well, I feel like the, uh... Like, managing the recoil feels much different. Yeah. I appreciate you giving me that out since it's 1 to 8, but yeah, I think it's definitely, like, recoil management on some guns. I do, like, guns like Rose. I do so well with the Rose on, uh, mouse and keyboard, and I cannot get a kill with it to save my life on, uh, controller. Well, good! That was quick! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just how it is because like literally when I swapped to MK like when D2 came out on PC I used vigilance yeah. right away and like I felt like it was so easy compared to like yeah. every other gun I don't know why it just has it's no just recoil fluid. that's just it Well, that was a quick one. Are you doing one more? You want to do one more? Let's do it. All right. You pick it. I picked that one, so you pick the next one. All right. Let me let me look at what possible loadouts we can use here. You know what? We'll make yeah. it. We'll make it better. We'll use crimson because crimson on a keyboard and mouse is so bad. All right. I like crimson. Let's do it. Apparently, they're making like a ton of UI changes for uh, Beyond Light. I only saw like the super stuff. Yeah. Well, I the super I super looks. Oh, there we go. That did work a little better. I think the other thing is I felt like with Vigilance Wing, as soon as I got flinched, I was done. Yeah. It was over. The thing on Crimson 2 is, I can't even see my radical, I'm just shooting. I'm oh, just really? hopefully hit. Yeah, I can't really see it, to be honest. No! Stepped into the grenade, but I thought it'd be worth it. Swapping ornaments, see if that helps. There you go. It does not help at all. It did not. That's the other thing that is hilarious to me is I watch people like, I watch you, I watch Cami Cakes, I watch all these PC guys, and they swap loadouts like in the middle of a, uh, a game on controller or on xbox you don't do that oh yeah it takes so long to open up your literally. menu and before i bought an ssd it was like an hour literally you'd open it and you'd be like you could go get a drink Ooh. that's the one thing because like console takes so long you can even like i know people that put ssds in their ps4s and it still takes a long yeah. time oh yeah that's what i have that i upgraded to that on mine and it still i mean it still takes forever well i'm dead so what are you going to do when you beat everybody? I don't know. <laughs> people were saying just like pulling people that aren't in G1. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it was funny. I was talking to uh, somebody. I think it was David. I was like, we started with Panda and then we called it a King of the Hill series. And then we just get, it's basically just Panda beats everybody one at a time. No way, that crouch got me. GG's. GG's. Another one off the list. <laughs> so I'll just cut out those last couple and just post the first yeah. one. <laughs> just post that game in the middle, perfect. Yeah. Just post that first one, that'll work. That'll work.